When a doctor comes in and tells you that your child's probably not going to make it, I think most people expect us as parents to fall apart. I'm Victoria Loren. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Vermont. I have an intestinal stomach malrotation. What it basically means is her intestinal contents are not tacked down properly. It's not something you can take medicine for. It's not something that you can eat something that'll help. So they can roll or rotate abnormally and trap parts of her intestines in ways that can become a life-threatening emergency. If they do a full rotation, then I have to go into emergency surgery. And therein lies the emergency that she lives with each and every day. The first thing I heard on a flight was people screaming, and I looked at my mom and I was like, is this for us? So the yard sale starts at 9 o'clock. Um, people are showing up now. Victoria Loren went to school with Grace Emery. Grace was a few years older than Victoria, and Victoria really looked up to her. Honey, I love you. You're putting the hangers on the wrong way. Grace Emery was the 2008 champion, and she went to my school, and we were really, really good friends. Um, she passed away to cancer um, July 1st of this year. As Grace was continuing to be very ill and we knew that she was not going to win her battle, her big worry was that she would be forgotten. So I do a yard sale every year and this year and from now on um, it's Grace's yard sale. All the money goes to the hospital in her name and her honor. All of the proceeds go to the Children's Miracle Network Hospital at Fletcher Allen, and if we can be of any help, just let us know. Okay, thank you. All right. The weather report says that there will be, like, scattered showers, which I'm hoping does not happen. We need the sun. It could rain tonight. That's fine when the arts is over and done with. I'm Janelle Lachey, Miss Vermont 2013, and I'm here with Chloe Johnson, Miss Vermont's Outstanding Teen 2013. During her talent, she lifts her leg and hits a tambourine above her head. She's like a beautiful Gumby. Hi, how are you? I'm good, you Dr. Lewis First is actually a very important person to our family and to our um, hospital. Do you have any sporting equipment? One of the neat things about fundraising are the number of grassroots efforts that go on without any prompting on, on our part here at the Children's Hospital. This is it for the audiovisual collection? This is the first time in five years it's been here. I'm like a first time no, we're not getting the mug that says sexy at 60, okay? No cameras, please, no cameras. I found a board game, Operation. I mean, why wouldn't I want to play Operation, okay? As well as some golf, some golf memorabilia. I mean, what a bargain, and then made a contribution. Yeah, any neighborhood could really do it. Just get three or four people together, and uh, everybody has stuff that they don't need and could would be happy to donate, I would think, to the hospital. Within an hour, we're going to have a 70% downpour. So we're just going to prepare to cover up, and then when it passes, then we'll uncover again. So just so you guys know. OK, so maybe we're going to talk now. One of the sayings that we have is that, oh, what a great day it is. The weather's so wonderful. And someone will say, oh, but remember, it's Vermont, and it's likely to change in the next 10 minutes. So, all right. Victoria really wanted to find a way to recognize Grace and wanted to ensure that her memory stays alive and now donates the proceeds that she raises from her garage sale in her memory. From Vermont, Gracie Emery. This year we made $1,360. Every cent raised goes right to the Vermont Children's Hospital. You get involved and you serve your fellow human. So um, Victoria has figured that out at a very young age. It poured down rain and uh, it certainly didn't damper any spirits. They were still out there and enjoying themselves. It's a lot of hard work, but it's worth it because just to see the smiles on the kids' faces now from when they walk into their room and how colorful and bright they are and happy to be there. You need equipment. You need special programs, programs that a family needs that say, my child needs that particular thing to either make them better, to save a life, or put a smile on their face. We could not do that without the Children's Miracle Network hospitals, and we could not do that without champions like Victoria Loren.